Hello, 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 all of our Motor City Solutions Facebook followers. Gwen Stacy here at Motor City Solutions Hot Rod Shop, Taylor, Michigan. Uh, normally, we don't do a late night live. Ooh, I like the way that sounds, late night live. But uh, tonight, we have something a little bit, okay, a lot of bit extra special for you. Um, I'm just gonna let let the uh, vehicle speak for itself here. Let me uh, roll it around. Sean is with us. How you doing, Sean? Doing well, very well. Good, good, good. So, we are looking at, tell us about it. Yeah, so this is uh, the original Bullet Mustang uh, from the movie. Uh, finally back in Detroit since January. Uh, so we're here for Woodward. Uh, so in between the 10 million Mustang and uh, um, announcement we did last Wednesday and then today, uh, she's been at Motor City Solutions and uh, just kind of hidden, uh, but safe, <laughs> safe and sound. Uh, we had people coming in like off the, from the street. Somebody came in today. They said we saw it from the street and started snapping photos. They're calling their friend. I said, hang the phone up. That's funny. <laughs> Uh, so how did you come across this? How yeah, did so you... my father actually bought it in 74. Uh, it was in a classified ad in the back of Road and Track magazine. Um, he went, visited the uh, second owner, uh, wasn't with him for a very long time, um, and then uh, maybe an hour, and drove it home. Uh, and it's been in our family ever since. My mom and dad used it as a uh, family car in the 70s. As like a daily driver? Yeah, absolute daily driver. A daily driver? Yeah. Let me get a better look at this car here. This yeah. is crazy. A yeah. daily driver. The original Bullet Mustang with the movie Steve McQueen. Arguably the most uh, memorable cinema car chase in history, in the history of the world, was a daily driver for Sean's family over here. That's so crazy. Yeah, it was insane. <laughs> Fun story. And, you know, to know my father, I mean, people would be like, you know, they would get it pretty fast. But uh, what's cool for me is being here for the past week is I'm obviously, you know, uh, very familiar with the body shops and business and, and whatnot. So uh, it's very familiar. Uh, it's, I call Dearborn my second home in Detroit. And uh, coming to a body shop in Detroit, and that's where she's been for the past week. I've slept pretty good. Oh well, that's um, a good that's a good sign. Yeah, safe and sound. So where's home original? Where is home for you? Nashville. Nashville, Tennessee. Yeah, Nashville. Woohoo! So, One time for Nashville. Do we have any viewers from Nashville watching? But um, yeah, so then the, over the, through the '80s and the '90s and everything, uh, you know, we uh, it kind of became an underground thing without. It being on purpose, it, it, uh, the internet was born, and that's kind of the, the more the internet grew, the more we went underground. And uh, when it was all said and done in 2001, uh, when Ford came out with the, the first commemorative bullet, um, we started brushing it up and working on it. And then over the past 17 years, basically, it was in little pieces everywhere. And then uh, my father passed away in 2014, so. After that, I got inspired through through quite a few different things um, that happened to me, uh, and uh, I guess 2016 is when I first got with Ford um, and started moving forward on the, uh, the new bullet. So uh, they, oh, okay, the one that just the 2019. Right. So did they reach people. out to you? Uh, actually, I reached out to them uh, through quite a few different people. And they jumped on it. Uh, it was, it was uh, at the end of it. It, it was pretty. It's pretty awesome um, because you know we got a new bullet out of it uh, as far as the one that's being made. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I, I got a chance to bring this to public, do it in the right way, um, and you know, me being in the body shop business and, and, and this uh, paint body for the past 20 years. And oh wow! Out, so one of our own. Right, and then coming out with a car that's not you know that you know not restored or anything is kind of against the grain and against the mold, which is yeah. kind of how my father was and how I am so so you're gonna keep it as is yeah this is it and uh so that must be hard to be a body man yeah. no, you know knowing you could bring this thing definitely but the good thing is, is you know preservation and uh so instead of restoring it I've been focusing on preserving it yeah and, I love uh, it you know taking that passion and focusing towards that so that's been my big thing but to finally be back in Detroit since January uh by way of everywhere in the world um it's, it's going to be a fun weekend. Uh, we're right on Woodward with Ford. Um, it's, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. It's, like I said, it's the second home to me. It's my first time on the Dream Cruise. Oh, so woo -hoo. It's be fun. So. 
we'll be at Memorial Park. So you got you, uh, you know, if you get a chance to stop by. Yeah. Definitely. So are you gonna be buying yourself the new Bullet Mustang? Yeah, I definitely will. I have bought one. And, you uh, already bought one? Yeah, and it's done. I just haven't seen it yet because it's it's uh, it's actually a Denver Ford currently. So, oh wow. Okay. Uh, but I, it's hiding in the back undercover, um, <laughs> much like this does quite often. Uh, but yeah, so it, it's uh, it's done. I just haven't seen it. I don't want to see it until I can drive it. Way, so. Right, right. Just haven't had a chance yet. Yeah, this is awesome. So I'm gonna to try to get some close up on the on the car here. I cannot believe that. The, so did when your dad purchased it? Did he know that this? What he did he know what he had? Yeah, but in '74, it really wasn't a movie. You know, it wasn't a big movie car kind of thing uh, in '74. So, um, but yeah, he knew. So was he a big was he a big car buff? Um, yeah, he was a Shelby fan. But he definitely just wanted a fastback Mustang. So. He, oh, okay. So before the bullet was ever the idea of what he wanted, he just knew fastback. Right. And then it came up for the option to buy the bullet car, and he probably jumped all over that. Yeah, definitely. And then, you know, I say that he bought it because it was a 68 fastback, and then he kept it because it was, you know, his bullet. And, uh, I mean, it's extremely well documented front to back. As you can tell, I keep everything. Uh, we don't throw anything away. So I have every piece of paperwork that this car has ever had. Oh, no kidding. Since it was born, yeah. So wow. I, absolutely everything. I actually found the insurance card the other day. Uh, <laughs> so it's a continuous. Yeah, it's crazy. That so, is so cool. Can, can I, yeah. I, now I don't really know, you know, I haven't seen too many movie cars. We, you know what's really weird? We had American Graffiti complete rep, replica 32 coupe in here today. Yeah. And I don't know if this is the same thing, but yeah, camera mounts. Okay, yep, yep. So that's those yeah. are the actual camera mounts there. That's crazy. Look at the screen is blowing up with hearts like it's literally it looked like Valentine's Day out, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can I get a shot of you just standing in front of the car? This is just too cool. Um yeah. it's like nine at night, you gotta be to Woodward at seven AM. Yeah. You're out here with us. Yeah, it's it's uh <laughs> yeah. It's a lot, it's a lot. Yeah, I've gotten good at, you know, getting in and getting, you know, stuff. So it's, That's awesome. It's fun. Absolutely. All right. Well, 7 a.m. comes quick, Sean. Yeah. I don't sleep much. Yeah. yeah. Well, this is definitely a tribute to your father. What was his name? Uh, Bob. Everybody called him Bob, so. Bob with the bullet. Yep. Well, definitely a tribute to Bob. And, Sean, I'm sure you'll have this car for a long time to come. Oh, definitely. But, yeah, if anybody and everybody can yeah, absolutely. And hey, man, if you're ever looking for a body shop job in Detroit, I know a place. Yeah. <laughs> yeah me too, now. Hey, hey, hey. Thank you, Sean, so much for uh, tuning in with us. We'll see you on Woodward. Awesome. Nice shirt, too. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Short and sweet for real this time. This is the original movie car. 68 Bullet Mustang, Steve McQueen. I said it once, I'll say it again. Arguably the most memorable and famous car chase in the history of cinema right here at Motor City Solutions. So it will be out on Woodward. We will be out on Woodward. It's a crazy week out here in Detroit, Michigan. Shouts out to the Motor City from the Motor City. I'm going to call it a night. Thank you, Sean, for allowing me to do this live feed. Thank you guys for tuning in. I'm going to flash back to Bullet one more time because it's Bullet. But, uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in with us. We'll see you guys on Woodward. Good night. Sorry, I just got to do it one more time. Bullet. Motor City Solutions, you never know what's going to happen next. <laughs> Have a good night, y'all.